So the William Hill Lincoln gets week two on the way then. Day one, week two. Big showpiece handicap this. Straight mile Lancaster straight. Okay, so 0 to 110. The top one is Punk Zip, Paul Rhodes, Lily Paul, Paul O'Neill. Favourable verdict Joshua Sutherland, Guarda, Darren Thompson, Lockdown Django, Lattle Image, Dan Hughes, Bobble, Mark Jones, Farhan, Orlandes, James Shea, Mitwell, Beck, Dan Hughes, Olandino, T. Rogers, Regal Rumble, Nick Driver, Hart Ardines, Martin Leadham, T. Biscuit, Graham Clutterbuck, Toronto, Not Really Gerard, and John Seaford has got the bottom two, Vimiero and Ladybird. 16 then, facing the starter in this first big showpiece handicap of the season. It's also the first race in the new tipping competition. Look, hold up in the forums, and they're all in, and away they go. Punk Zip and Far Harder Lunday is a little bit slow to go. A favourable verdict. Maybe the early leader Bobble's also up there early on, so too is Far Harder Lunday's now, but Ladybird in the yellow has burst through now to take the lead. So, up the centre of the track, then it's Ladybird in the yellow, Jackie that's in the lead. And right over on the far side, favourable verdict and punk zip. So the ones that started slowly have made up that grand early on. Lockdown's also close up, so is Bobble Hart. Ideales is also in the leading pack, looking towards the back Toronto. Not, it's just a back marker, but it's Ladybird in the lead then by about two lengths to Regal Rumble closest to us. And right over on the far side, punk zip and favourable verdict with Lockdown. Far harder than days is back over on this side with Hart Ideales. And uh, looking towards the back, Vimiero is now just about the back marker, but they're racing down towards the midway point in the Lincoln then. And Lady Bird is in the lead by about two lengths. Hart Ardell is now moves through to second. Looks like the ones up the centre of the track might just be doing better at the moment. Bobble now coming through with a significant looking challenge, but it's still Lady Bird in the lead. Bobble is second. Over on the far side, favourable verdict is winning in that group, but it's Lady Bird in the lead. Favourable verdict on the far side with Punk Zip. Hart Ardell is still there. Here comes Toronto, not right up the centre of the track. It's Lady Bird and Toronto, not these two from Bobble over on the far side. Punk Zip. As Bonk Zip is trying to get going. Far Harder Landes is also running on well now, but it's Lady Bird still in the lead as they race down towards the furlong point. Toronto not coming to take the lead from Lady Bird. Right around the far side, Punk Zip's got the rail. Punk Zip and Toronto not Far Harder Landes and Lockdown trying to get into it as well, but it's Punk Zip over on the far side. Toronto not the near side. This is going to be a head bobber as they race up towards the lead. Just Punk Zip, I think, from Toronto not Far Harder Landes. Then Lockdown and then Ball and then that'll image after that one. And a long time leader. Lady Bird ended up last, but gave the trainer a thrill for a good six or seven furlongs. And Punk Zip has taken the first big handicap of the season for Paul Rhodes, I think. Punk Zip, yep, Paul Rhodes, top weight, takes it. Toronto not for Vinnie Gerrard, getting tons of weight in second. Couldn't quite get up, but was unlucky, missed the break that one. Fahana Landes was third for James Shea, Lockdown for Django was fourth, and Bobble for Mark Jones was fifth.